right, so last time we were talking about classes. And um, the basic idea of a class is um, if we look at uh, micro worlds, we can think of um, uh, these objects up here that create a turtle. Um, we can think of a imagine uh, think of a class of turtles so there we can um, use this tool to create as many turtles as we want and all the turtles we create um, know how to do the same things they all know how to um, go forward and back they all know and they all hold a similar kind of information right they all hold their x coordinates and their y coordinates um, the same thing with text boxes if we have a tool that create text boxes and every text box we create can do certain things. You know, you can you can set its value and it and it shows up and all that stuff. Same thing with buttons and sliders. Okay, so um, in uh, Code Sculptor in in Python, the way we create classes is we we use this um, class keyword and then the name of a class. And by convention, um, class names start with capitals. And then we have a colon. And then we, underneath that, we um, define the functions that belong to a class. And actually, the functions that belong to a particular class are, are more often called methods. So we, we talk about, you know, we talk about functions when we're talking about, like, this draw handler here. Um, or this, uh, yeah. So... Yeah, we talk about, um, so this would be like a, a function, a generally defined function. But then we talk about methods when we talk about things like this init um, method here or this pause method. Um, and last time we talked about init and uh, string. And I'll show a little bit more about string um, in a little bit. But now I want to start talking in more detail about these other functions in here. So we started talking about pause. Um, it takes a self parameter. And notice all of these functions start out with a self uh, parameter. So they kind of automatically get a self parameter called. Um, if you want to get the, uh, the position for a particular ball, um, it, it's going to tell you, OK, my x is this and my y is that. Um, um, maybe a way to think about this too with the self dot business is um, in micro worlds you can um, like like I could ask a particular um, turtle to do to uh, go back 50 say right but also I can I could and if I if I just say forward 50 it's going to pick out whoever's the current turtle and make that one go right but you could also um, you don't have to do this in, in micro worlds but just to illustrate um, if you said ask who 50 forward 50 it would figure out like who the current turtle is and ask that turtle to go forward 50. So the way, maybe a way of thinking about it in um, uh, Code Sculptor is that self is the the current ball that we're working with. Okay, so we're getting the x and the y from that current ball. So, so there's a lot more. You have to be a lot more explicit in uh, Python about you know that that we're talking about the current um, object. Okay, so we're saying, so we always, we have this self um, dot all over the place. Um, and we're, and so the, the piece of information that we're, we're dealing with, the X that we're dealing with, is an X that belongs to this particular ball that we're, we're calling pause on. So basically, so the idea here is, um, I think I actually call pause in here someplace. Yeah, so right here. If you say the way you call it is you say self dot pause, or you could have said if I said ball dot pause, um, it would call that particular one. Oh yeah, so here I have ball dot draw, and I'll talk about that in a little bit too. Ball dot update, 
And what happens is the, um, I'm asking a particular ball to update itself, and then update automatically gets the self parameter. So that's like it automatically gets a, a who. And then it has to explicitly say, you know, um, check at left for self. You know, um, set self's um, change in x to 2 and stuff like that. Okay. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay. So we have pause. I, I went ahead and stuck in self, set pause because I'm thinking now in terms of uh, turtles, right? Because a ball is kind of like a turtle. So we have um, pause set pause if we got a new pause that would be some kind of a tuple that has an x and a y in it just like um, when you say set pause you, you pass a list right that's x and y and then we could we could also why not we could, we could do um, and notice when your um, pause is a reporter so you need to say return set pause is um, a command right so it's a um, it's a mutator. It, it it changes the state of the ball, but it doesn't it doesn't return anything. So we don't need to have a return here. Um, X core returns um, the X coordinate set X sets it. So this so X core has a return. Set X does not have a return. Y core and set Y, and then um, these checks for at left, at right, like we had before um, in here where we have, you know, at left, at right. Here, these are just plain old functions. These are not methods, so we don't have to worry about self. But here, these are methods that belong to the, the class, the ball class, so we have to um, make sure we're using self so that we're checking this particular balls x and y and stuff like that okay uh, the um, the draw oh withdraw notice here we're we're using self dot pause so we're actually calling a method here we're just um, getting the y like state variable here we're just using the that piece of state information so we don't need the um, parentheses so when we're using um, when we're referring to one of these variable names, uh, like name, x, y, dy, dx, we don't need the um, parentheses because those are just variables. But when we're calling a method on self, when we're, when we're asking ourself um, to return whatever the pause method returns, then we do need the parentheses because we're calling the pause method. But notice, notice how this, this works. It's self.pause, okay? And then um, in the pause method, self is passed as a, as a parameter, okay? Um, so, that, so this gives us our, our, the position of our circle, and then, um, you know, this is the... Um, the radius and the thickness of the line and the colors and that stuff. Um, what else? Then we have the update. The update has all these self things in. Again, when we're calling a, a method that belongs to the class, we have to say self dot, right? Okay, now in this event handler though, we're outside of the class. So we've created this um, this ball, this one object, okay, so when we say ball equals, ball with all this stuff, that's basically, that's that's similar to what we're doing in micro worlds when we say um, new turtle and pass it the name of the turtle, or new text and we pass it the name of the text and the starting position and the size of it to create a new text box, okay. So, um, so yeah, so we've, we've created that. And then, oh, for draw though, notice we are, we're passing, we are explicitly passing the canvas because um, we need to know 
what the canvas is so we can draw our circle on it. Right? So we so draw gets two um, parameters, it gets self and it gets the canvas. And we say canvas dot draw circle. Right? Um, so and then this other stuff is pretty much this uh, you know pretty similar to what we did before. We have to um, so we define when we define our event handler, we're actually using the ball to um, draw itself and update itself. Um, so that's a little bit different from from before. Um, but we create a frame the same way. We create a ball. I also said print string ball. So let me I'll, I'll run it one time so we can see what that looks like when that prints out. And then registering the draw handler. So we're still using this draw handler function. Okay, this is outside of the class. So you can tell this is outside of the class because see, all these uh, methods are indented underneath the class. But here, um, this function is not in indented. This this uh, def uh, keyword is not indented underneath the class. So this is a sep this is a function outside of any class. So we have that. Um, so that's that's. In that way, it's similar to before, but then we're calling um, the draw method for the ball and the update method for the ball. Then, so we have the create the frame is the same, frame dot set draw handler is the same because we're using that draw handler. We just have a, a the the instructions in the draw handler are different, but we're still using um, a function called draw handler. So that's that looks the same. And then we say frame dot start. So let me run this. Just I just want to run it so you can see what happens when we do the print string ball here. So oops. Cannot concatenate a str string and number objects. Oh, I made a mistake here, didn't I? So this should be um, we need to convert these um, number uh, uh, these um, yeah these number objects into strings because self x and self y and self dx and self dy those are str uh, those are numbers so if I say str so str generally converts things into strings and this gives us a special purpose string uh, to convert balls into strings so let's let's try this one here okay there we go and then see right here we have um, bounce, bouncy position, bouncy velocity. Actually, I don't like, these are a little bit too close together, aren't they? So let's put a space here and a space here. And save that and reset and try again. There we go. I like that better. So um, the name is bouncy. The position is 150. 100 and the velocity is at. Um, another thing we might do is, um, you know, you could, you might want to, I don't know, put like commas here or something, or um, maybe new line characters or something like that. So that's how um, the ball class works. And in the next video, I'll show you how to use the ball class to make. Um, multiple balls appear on the screen.